Welcome to MathX and let's do this question real quick. I think it makes sense to try to solve this equation first. To do that, we could multiply each term by an x. So we have a quadratic equation. So by using the discriminant value b squared minus 4ac, we know that the discriminant is something negative. So we have no real solutions. So the question is more difficult than we thought it would be. Now, you agree that one is also one squared. And I hope that you can think of this formula now. Now by comparison, if x is a, b is one, then they look similar. And we know this formula, this multiplied by a minus b is a cubed minus b cubed. So let's do the same thing. Multiplying this by x minus one. So the equation will turn into x cubed equals one. Now something interesting or a little confusing. You see, if the value of x is one, and we put the value of one here, we know that they are not the same. Isn't that weird? Well, not so much, because you see, x cubed equals one has three solutions. One x equals one and two other complex solutions. Okay, this one, the original equation, has only two complex solutions, which is the same as these two. Now, remember, we know, we know that x cubed is 1, right? So from 2023, we could just pick 3 and 3. Each x cubed is 1, right? So how to use this? You see, we could write this as x to the power of 2022, which is a multiple of 3. So because of that, it's divisible by 3. So let's write it as 2022 divided by 3 is 674. Okay. So... All of this x to power of 2023 is the same as x. So we just have to find the value of x. Let's go and do this. We had the formula, right? We had this equation. We just have to solve it. Quadratic formula. Okay, the discriminant was negative 3. And uh, no real solutions, only two complex solutions. I hope you found the video useful. If you did, don't go without a like.